Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good day to you. You are watching Update PRU 13 with me, Hijri Yassin. According to Malaysian Insiders Report, Barisan Nasional and the Prime Minister's Office spent at least 73 million last month on advertising as the ruling coalition launches an advertising blitz to keep Putrajaya in what is said to be the most expensive general election ever. The PMO spent 67.8 million on advertising last month, according to data from consumer analyst Nielsen Media Research, earning itself the top place among advertisement spenders, well ahead of the 43 million spent by classifieds and the 25 million each spent by Nestle and Unilever Malaysia. Another report by Maybank Investment Bank Berhad last month noted that the PMO was also the top ad spender in February 2013 with its 36.1 million spend comprising 7% of total gross advertisement expenditure. According to Malaysian Insider's report, PKR's Rafizi Ramli questioned the Barisan national sincerity in vowing to cut car prices should the coalition win election 2013, pointing to political foe Tan Sri Muhyiddin Yassin's apparent confusion over the workings of the national automotive tax policy. The opposition party strategy chief latched onto the BN Deputy Chairman's dismissal of the Pakatan Rakyat Bloc's proposed policies, singling out Muhyiddin's remarks on car price cuts, a hot issue in Malaysia where imported vehicles can cost as much as a house and often more. Muhyiddin was reported saying that the opposition pack lacked experience and in-depth knowledge to know that most of its proposed policies on welfare and plans to cut car prices have already been implemented. The Asian Free Trade Agreement, AFTA, was put in place to abolish trade barriers in the form of import traffic so that goods can move freely without price discrimination within the region, Rafizi said. That's all for now. Stay tuned with us because we'll bring more updates coming up. We are reporting to you from the true perspective.